Hello there, my tulips. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Bliss. What it do, boo? <laughs> Y'all, I'm super duper excited about today's video because this is a video that I was eager to get out. I felt like it was imperative that I get this super short review out regarding this specific product. that I purchased. So if you're curious to know what I got to tell you about this particular product, baby, keep on watching. Okay, so today's super short review is all about the Palmer's Natural Fusions, the Lavender, the Lavender Rose Conditioner. So I'm almost sure that a lot of you guys have seen commercials about this particular product and you've probably seen it specifically in your Walmart store. Now I can't say for sure that I've seen it in a beauty supply store because I haven't been in a beauty supply store in a little minute. I haven't the last time I did go to a beauty supply store but I for sure have only seen it in selected Walmart stores or you definitely have to go looking for it because if you're not looking for this product at Walmart you probably will not find it. <laughs> Okay, so before I go any further, you're probably wondering how come I don't have the shampoo that goes with this. As a lot of you guys know, I prefer to make my own shampoo. Every now and again, I'll buy a shampoo, but predominantly I use my own DIY shampoo. So mainly I only purchase conditioners. Okay, so that's why I'm only doing a review of just this conditioner. This is for some of you guys out there who are probably new tuning in to my channel. Okay. So now we got all that out of the way. Let's continue to move forward. Take a look at my hair. Just really look at my hair. And I know I don't have a lot, but I do have this at the top. So really get a good look at that. Okay. So let's get into this review. So the main purpose or the objective of this particular product is to hydrate and repair your hair. Also, it is supposed to help your hair retain moisture for softness. It states that right here on the front of the bottle. So this product consists of lavender and rose water. Just an FYI for you, the brand wanted you to know that lavender is known for its calming and balancing aroma. Lavender also has superior regenerative and softening properties for your hair. Okay, so that doesn't sound bad. Also, this product has no sulfates, no parabens, no phospholates, no mineral oil, and no gluten. That is also along the front side of the bottle. So this product is extremely easy to use. You just apply it to your hair, starting with your ends. You definitely want to make sure you, you are applying it to wet hair. And then you work your way up. Just a tip for you, it also states to allow the product to sit in your hair for three to five minutes so that you can get the full benefit of this product. Afterwards, afterwards, you just rinse this product out. So let's continue to move on. Let's get into the scent of this product because I can smell it already and it is closed. So I'm just going to unravel the top. The smell of this product, in my opinion, you guys, smells horrible. I do not like the scent at all. It has a hint of lavender and maybe a hint of rose. I don't know. I can't be specific. I can't, I can't be for sure about that. But this smells bad. This does not smell good. This smells like a concoction that went wrong. Like you just started 
combining a whole bunch of stuff with its own scent and all those scents combined created a disaster so it doesn't smell good it has more of a perfumey lavender scent than it does a natural lavender scent in my opinion however someone else may differ the texture of this product y'all so this is what the texture looks like if I can squeeze out just a little bit for you to see so this is what the texture looks like it is a very thin consistent this is of a very thin consistency it is not a thick consistency at all it pretty much just melts away in your hand it is not thick you would think that this would be great for low porosity hair because of the thinness of the products and since the first ingredient in this product is water of course you guys know i have low porosity hair so I thought this could be a go for me, but we're going to keep on discussing this product. So now let's talk about the next thing, how you extract the product from the bottle. So as you guys can see, it has a twist top. Can you see it there? Like literally a twist top. Y'all... Palmers, why did you do this? Why did you give this product a twist top? That sucks. We prefer a pump. I prefer a pump. So let me not speak for all of you guys. I prefer a pump. I do not like a twist top. So that's a no-go for me. As you guys saw when I was trying to squeeze out some of the product for you to see the texture, I had to put some elbow grease in it to just get a little bit to squeeze out on my fingers so no I absolutely do not like this top they do give you a lot of bang for your buck this is a 350 ml or 12 floral ounce and it has that at the bottom of the bottle not sure if you guys can really see it trying to get my camera to focus Can you see it now? Also, the price of this product, I will say Palmer's made this product very affordable. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to be able to utilize this product. It's not going to break the bank. I believe it costs $6 and change. So with tax, maybe $7. However, keep in mind your geographic location. It Price could possibly vary. Okay, so my final thoughts. What do I think about this product? Well, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, my hair. So I utilize, I've used this product twice before. The first time I used this product, um, I was highly disappointed because I felt as though my hair was not hydrated. Then I went back and I used this product the second time. So I used this conditioner and included another conditioner to go along with it. And still, this is what the results are. To me, my hair just doesn't look moisturized, and you know what? It doesn't feel moisturized either. So, it did not help my hair retain any moisture. My hair doesn't look or feel hydrated at all. If anything, it feels dehydrated. The scent of this product, I did not like. The great thing is the scent did not last. Will I repurchase this product again? For me, it's a no-go. I absolutely will not purchase this product again. Do I recommend this product? Like I've always said, or I have definitely said in the past, when it comes to your natural hair or when it comes to your hair in general, it's all about trial and error. You just have to determine what works for you. Just maybe because it didn't work for me, it could possibly work for you. You never know unless you give it a try. So, those are my final thoughts. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful for someone out there who has been eyeballing this product and trying to determine if you should go ahead on and purchase it or not. Anyway, I'll see you tulips in the next one. Smooches. Mwah.